Hey, what's going on guys? And in this video, I'll be showing you commands for powder toy. So before I even start, I just want to say that I'll be putting timestamps in the description box down below so you can skip to a particular command that you find interesting. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you a way that you can do everything you do with commands, but without all the typing. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. So how do you open the console? Either by clicking here or by pressing the tilde key just below the escape button. How do you type commands? Well, all of them start with the exclamation mark and set. After which you say type or whatever you want to do. After type, you say what you want to turn into something else. For example, let's turn metal into battery. Here we have some metal. And if we type in metal to battery, we're going to get battery. Another useful thing to do is to change everything to something else. So you could say all and let's say insulator. Now everything is insulator. And now if you want to delete something in particular, let's say water, we got some water, but we don't want to delete each and every particle of water manually, what we do is set type of water to none and the water disappears. Okay, for our next command we'll be taking a look at temperature. So what you say is set temperature and let's say water. But now we have to specify which temperature we want to set it to. When we input the temperature, we're going to input it in kelvins. But powder toy works in Celsius. So, for example, zero degrees kelvins is minus 273 degrees Celsius. So if we were to say 300, we would get 300 minus 273 degrees. So that is about 26 degrees Celsius. Now there is a way to set the temperature in Celsius and that is by typing the letter C after the number. So now if we set it to 100, we're going to have 100 degrees Celsius for the water. And this is, this is the part of the water that got heated up to 100 degrees. So what we're going to do now is set the temperature of everything to 100 degrees Celsius because diamond was kind of colder so it cooled down the water to something just below 100 degrees. But if we set temperature of everything to 100 degrees Celsius, the water is going to start evaporating from the top down. But if we were to test something like this, water should evaporate immediately. So let's see what happens. And there you go. Now, if you want to set the temperature in Fahrenheit, you can by doing as follows. So let's say 100 Fahrenheit, which is F after the number, we're going to get it in Fahrenheit, which is about 37 degrees Celsius. So the next command we'll be taking a look at is C type. Now C type doesn't work with every element in powder toy, but it works with some like lava, ice, and different versions of clone. So what C type does, it actually makes this particular element behave something differently. So for example, lava cools down to stone. So if we were so let's say set C type of lava to let's say bomb. What is going to happen is we have molten bomb. But when this molten bomb starts cooling down, it's going to turn to bomb. So let's see what happens. You see, when it starts cooling down, it's going to start exploding. So we can even do this manually by cooling it down manually. Let's see what happens. 
you see it exploding. Something similar happens to clone. And I mean, it's kind of obvious. When you set the C type for clone, the clone is going to start cloning that element that you entered. So let's say dust, for example, and clone is going to start cloning dust. Similar thing happens with ice. And I mean, ice is similar to lava because ice is going to melt into something. So if you set the C type of ice to something, that something is going to turn into whatever you entered. For the next command, we'll be taking a look at life. So life influences how long particles exist. So for example, you see, when I put some fire, it's gonna die out rather quickly. So this is my eternal kettle. First, let's fill it up with water. And now when it's full, we're gonna add some fire down here. Okay, but now we're gonna set the life of fire to something rather large, like a couple of nines, for example. And when we play it, you can see that the fire isn't dying out. So this fire would disappear, but this fire is still there. And it's gonna evaporate the water from in here. And it's not gonna die out for a really long time. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you wanna have fun with the eternal kettle, you can just search for it right here, and it will be there probably at the top, Eternal Kettle by Zongi Vila. You click here, you can open it, and you just play it. Okay, for the next command, we'll be taking a look at X and Y commands, as well as V, X and V, Y. So the X is the X position, and the X coordinate is going, like in math, to the right, while the Y coordinate is going down, unlike in math. So if we say set the x coordinate of water to 50 that is going to move all of the water over here because you can see this line is at the coordinates of 50. if we were to say set y coordinate of water to 50 it's going to move it up here because around here is the y coordinate 50. So about x and y 50 would be somewhere around here. So for the next command, we'll be taking a look at v, x, and v, y. So if we say set v, x of water to 50, all of the water is gonna get pushed to the right. You see, you saw that splash. And if we were to say set V Y of water 50, the water is going to get pushed down. But you cannot see it because there is diamond in the way. So if we say minus 50, the water is going to go up. And there you have it. Okay, so the next command is TMP. And TMP can be used on quartz and or pipes so tmp on quartz is going to influence how much it grows so if we say set tmp of quartz to five it's going to grow by a little you see and it's going to stop growing right there but if we say set tmp for quartz to five thousand it's going to grow quite a bit, you see? Now, TMP can be also used on pipes. So here we have a pipe, but let's say we want to reset it. So we can say set TMP for pipe to zero, or you could say none, which is the same. So let's say zero for now. And you can see that the pipe is sealed. Now, the water was still flowing out here so the pipe 
was kind of damaged near this area so it's gonna start resetting the same way it was before but if we had a pipe let's say this let's make a short pipe and it's gonna get set we cut it right here so we set it and then we say get the pipe back to zero it's reset and you can see we can still start the pipe from this side and we're gonna set it in a different direction you see and that's the TMP command now the final thing I want to show you is the prop tool prop tool can do everything you can do with commands but with prop tool you can draw them so let's click on prop tool and you can see familiar things like C type type life let's go for type and let's say metal so now everything we draw on is going to get set to type metal as you can see we're turning diamond to metal we can turn water into metal if we click on prop tool again and let's say we go to temp which is temperature and we go 100 celsius everything we touch is going to get heated to 100 celsius as you can see same goes for water and everything else if we click it again we can go to vy which is going to set the vy property of everything we click on so let's say minus 50 and if we click on water, it's going to send it flying upwards. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to post the questions down below in the comment section. And in the next video, I'll be showing you some more advanced commands, such as bubble, 100, 300, and there's the bubble, the soap bubble. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.